Top 10 Things You Didn't Know About Comoros Hello Displorers, welcome to another informative video presented by Displore. As you all know, it's always a pleasure presenting to you some interesting but lesser known facts about the beautiful countries on the African continent. In this video, we are excited to present to you some lesser known facts about the country of Comoros. Officially the Union of Comoros, Comoros is an island country in the Indian Ocean located at the northern end of the Mozambique Channel off the eastern coast of Africa between northeastern Mozambique, the French region of Mayotte and the northwestern Madagascar. The religion of the majority of the population is Sunni Islam. As a member of the Arab League, the Comoros is the only country in the Arab world which is entirely in the southern hemisphere. At 1,660 square kilometers, excluding the contested island of Mayotte, the Comoros is the fourth smallest African nation by area and the population, excluding Mayotte, is estimated at 832,322 people. As a nation formed at the crossroads of different civilizations, the archipelago is noted for its diverse culture and history. The archipelago was first inhabited by Bantu speakers who came from East Africa, supplemented by Arab and Austronesian immigration. If you are new here, welcome. Be sure to subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss any of our daily uploads. The capital and largest city is Moroni and the official languages of the countries are Comorian, Arabic and French. So without any further ado, here are the 10 things you probably didn't know about Comoros. Number 1. Residents speak a unique language. The residents of Comoros speak the Comorian language related to Swahili with elements of Arabic and French thrown in. There are also four variants of it, including Shigazija, Simwali, Shinjwani, and Shimarore, that correspond to four islands. Arabic and French are also widely spoken. Number two, Comoros is known as the perfumed island of the world. Comoros is the second largest producer of vanilla in the world and is also a huge exporter of Liang Yang and cloves. Those unfamiliar with Liang Yang might recognize it as one of the most important association endemic plant species in Comoros. Its oil is used as a base oil for perfumes. Despite its use in perfumes, it is an essential oil with plenty of medicinal values. One of its important therapeutic applications is in aromatherapy. Apart from aromatherapy, it also has antidepressants, antiseptic and aphrodisiac properties. Yes, if you want to boost your romantic spirit while on honeymoon in Comoros, Liang Liang is the best remedy for that. Number 3. Comoros has experienced 20 coups d'etat. Since declaring independence from France in 1975, Comoros has experienced more than 20 coups d'etat or attempted coups, with various heads of state assassinated. The coup have usually passed bloodshedly, with a recent failed coup leader believed to have dressed up as a woman trying to escape by boat to the nearby French-run island of Mayotte, according to Reuters. The routine appears to be, a new president takes power and fires people who worked for his predecessor. This disgruntled miscreants then attempts to take power by force. If successful, the people who work for the first president will be fired. If unsuccessful, there will be president flees to Mayotte in drag. Quite an interesting cycle of power there in Comoros, right? Number 4. Comoros is a true natural touristic heaven. With its crystalline blue waters and white sandy beaches, Comoros is largely unexposed to tourism. This is because of its past as a turbulent political volcano with coup and counter coup. Thus, it has not been etched in the global tourist circuit. However, with peace and stability that has been experienced over the last decade, fortunes are changing in favor of the Comoros. Those who visit Comoros keep visiting again and again. The small number of tourists keeps swelling year after year. It is now deeply etched in the East African tourist circuit, where you can get to experience marine life after the savannah excursions in Kenya, Tanzania, and Mozambique. Number 5. Comoros offers one of the world's largest coral atolls. Comoros coral reefs are simply a marine paradise. They are unrivaled and parade hundreds of fish species, shells, and corals. This offers great opportunities for scuba diving and snorkeling with great chances of seeing large turtles, manta rays, marine and whale sharks, among others. Here is a place where you can witness the highest concentration of coral marine species within a small area. You can also marvel at the magnificent coral landscape not found elsewhere in the world. Number 6. It is one of the least populous countries and also one of the most densely populated. Comoros, despite its small population, is one of the most densely populated countries in Africa due to its small size. It has an average population density of 443 people per square kilometer, making it the 15th most densely populated country in the world, despite ranking as the 178th in terms of total area and 165th in terms of overall population. This is significantly very high population density. Considering the Comoros is largely rural 
with two-thirds of its population living in rural areas. Number 7. Mount Kathala in Comoros is an active volcano. Comoros does not just experience political volcano. Mount Kathala is an active volcanic mountain in the island. Just as Comoros has experienced 20 active coal since independence, its mountain Kathala has experienced 20 active volcanoes since the 19th century. The last eruption occurred in 2006, but non-eruptive volcanic activities such as quakes and tremors are still being recorded year on year. Despite the volcanic activity, Mount Kathala is a magnificent landscape with unique flora and fauna. Tourists visit its famous 3km by 4km caldera crater that sits atop its summit and the reviews are quite impressive. Records indicate that the volcano has erupted every 11 years or so over the last couple of centuries, but it has kindly avoided murdering everyone in its feet of fiery rage. On the upside, the last 2006 eruption killed nobody and the worst death toll due to volcano activity was 17 people in 1903. Number 8. Moheli Marine Park is the first protected area in Comoros. Established on the 19th of April 2001, Moheli Marine Park, which rests within the Mozambican Channel, is unique in its own way. It is home to Quelacans, a rare species of fish almost endemic within that region. It is also home to a variety of shark sand and humpback whales. This is the easiest place to view the humpback whale off the East African coast. Number 9. Comoran cuisine is very exquisite and different. Comorans eat mostly imported rice, usually with fish or meat sauce. Plentiful local fish like tuna, barracuda, wahoo and red snapper are the main source of protein. Cassava is eaten fried, boiled or grilled. Taro, green bananas, breadfruit and potatoes, both white and sweet are often served. Chicken, goat and imported beef are popular meat but no pork because pork is forbidden by Islam. Comorans also spice their foods with puto or hot pepper sauce which is such a staple in their kitchens. Number 10. Most inhabitants of Comoros make their living from subsistence agriculture or fishing. Comoros, despite its natural treasures and geostrategic position, is still a poor undeveloped third world country. This has been exacerbated by the persistent political tumour that has kept off potential investors. Thus, most of its citizens rely on traditional subsistence farming and fishing. Luckily, due to international pressure and effort, Comoros has experienced a long stretch of peace and political stability within the last decade. This is a virgin land where you do not need much to invest in. There you have it, explorers. Those were 10 things you probably didn't know about Comoros. We hope you learned a thing or two about the beautiful nation Comoros. Thanks for watching this video and as usual, you can add more interesting facts about Comoros that were not mentioned in this video and the best comments will be pinned. Also, if you did enjoy this video, do well to give it a thumbs up and do not forget to subscribe and share with your friends.